Welcome to episode 2 of mechanics you probably don't know about. I'll be looking on how you can save yourself and your allies from homing missile, how you can more reliably escape with your blink dagger when respawning after ages, and also three tricks on how to avoid rupture damage. First up we're going to look at the interaction between Hurricane Pike and Gyrocopter's homing missile. This is a really interesting interaction and it can be something that can not only save yourself but your teammates. So by Hurricane using Hurricane Pike and auto attacking it not only increases your attack speed but it ensures that it's a longer duration before you get hit by the homing missile. Another cool thing about homing missile is that it gets destroyed completely once it enters or gets put inside chronosphere. Monkey King's Boundless Strike is physical damage, so it won't actually do damage to someone who is in ghost form or eternal. When you are trying to escape from the hero, you'll only get stunned, but you won't take damage. Next, I'm going to show you how you can escape with Blink Dagger very reliably after you respawn with Ages of the Immortality or after Ray King's Reincarnation. Here first is an example of this that it even goes through Static Storm. That Static Storm works in a way which it revolves around ticks so it does an instance of damage every few seconds or I think it's about once twice every second so you can escape during it. So if you want to actually avoid this you need to go into your settings and go into hotkeys. Go down to advanced hotkey option and turn quick cast on with key down and enable advanced quick cast or auto cast. So this will give you these options up at the top that wouldn't have been there previously. So I used my fourth slot on items for using my blink dagger and I always put my blink dagger in that slot. So I have actually put B as my key for using quick cast. What this means is that when you press the button down it now activates that ability ability or item whichever you did with your keybinds. Now I'm going to look at Pugna's life drain. This is something that I didn't know and it actually says in the tooltip is that when Pugna is at full health and he sucks someone off with life drain is that he actually drains their mana as well which is pretty cool and when you use it on your ally and your ally is at full health it will actually restore their mana. This is something that I thought just because of the name of the ability is called Life Drain and I think that a lot of people might not know this either. Now I'm going to show you two tricks based around Timber Saw. The first one I'm going to show you what happens normally when you get stunned during Timber Chain that gets interrupted. Now this first trick can work around other projectiles not just Spirit Breaker's Charge but it's fairly easy to do with stuff like Sven Stun or Vengeful Spirit Stun. And what you do is when you timber chain you cast that ability you straight away use yule scepter after that this makes you immune for a small period of time and ensures that you will not get stunned during your timber chain the next one is pretty well known is that when you use timber chain and blink instantly after it you can change the path at which your timber chain goes this is really useful when you're chasing down enemies and you're trying to ensure that you hit your abilities it can also be used aggressively and get vision on the high ground next i'm going to show you three ways which you can escape rupture damage now rupture is a skill that a lot of new players have a hard time dealing with and sometimes it can be a hard time when you have a blood seeker who's really fed in your game so the first one is you use yourself and instantly after that you blink but this does not work if you do not blink in a straight line of where your character is facing if your character has to turn even a small angle during the blink dagger duration that you take damage the second way is with Manta, so you blink and then use Manta instantly after it. you're immune for a small period of time. It works kind of similar to the Yule's one. I first saw this on Blackstream and you can also do it with other blink abilities such as Anti-Mage's blink. The third one is only possible with Queen of Pain's blink. What you do is you blink at maximum range which is 1300 units and you walk a small amount more than that. What happens is Rupture doesn't count if you move too far of a distance in a small period of time. Tell me what you think about this video down in the comments. I want to constantly improve this series over time. I'm planning on uploading at least one video a week onto this channel so stay tuned.